Good morning everyone and welcome to our lesson on elapsed time today. Now elapsed time is how much time has passed. Okay, so let's have a look at the, very th the three very important rules we need to remember um, before we can start and it will help us to complete this activity very nicely. All right, the first one, change both times to 24-hour digital time. So if we look at our example here, from 7.45 a.m. to 4.20 p.m. is how long? Okay, so that means we must convert or change both these times to digital time. Let's have a look at point two. Always put the later time, which is the second time given, we have to always put that one first at the top, and then we minus. Okay, so let's do those two points first. So from 7.45 a.m. to 4.20 p.m. So 4.20 is the second time given. It's the later time. That goes at the top. Let's do that then. First point, the, the second point was always put, um, sorry, the first point changed both times to 24-hour digital time. We need to do that also. Right, so from 7.45 to 4.20. Second time first, so we're going to add on 12 hours first here because we're converting it to 24-hour time, and it's p.m. Right, p.m. means we must plus 12 hours onto our hours. So that would be 12 plus 4 is 16. Did um, colon, and then the, uh, the minutes will stay the same. Right, okay, then we're going to minus off that first time, 7.45, now it's a.m., so that means we do not have to add on 12 hours. So we're going to simply leave the number the same and put a zero in front because there's only one digit here. There we go. Okay. 45 minutes stay the same, of course. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see um, what point three says. Remember when you borrow from the hours, then you always are borrowing 60 minutes. So let's remember that as well. Okay. So let's take a look here at our minutes. We always look at the, that first before we start. How many minutes at the top? 20, 45 at the bottom. We're not going to be able to minus 45 from 20. So we're going to begin by crossing out our 6 here. We're going to borrow an hour. That becomes then a 5. We're going to give an hour over to the minutes. And it's remember, it's 60 minutes. So we're going to add on 60 minutes here. Okay, and what is 60 plus 20? That's right, it's 80. So let's just cross through all both of those numbers and write the 80 at the top here. Now it's 80 minus 45. So can we take 5 away from 0? No, we have to borrow from the 8. So we give 1 over to the 0, it becomes a 10. 7 is left here, 10 minus 5 is 5. Now, 7 minus 4 is 3. All right, now can I take 7 away from 5? No, I have to borrow from this 10 and I give that over to this units here and it becomes 15 minus 7 and that's an 8. That becomes a naught there, 0, 0 minus 0 is still 0, okay. So we've got 835 but we cannot leave it as 835. Because it looks like the time 8.35 and it's not. It is in fact hours. It is in fact hours and minutes. So let's write it properly. So we always must write it properly at the end. It's 8 hours and 35 minutes. Okay. So now I hope that you're going to enjoy your work today. Remembering your three very important points which are also in your lesson notes, so you'll be able to complete it very well on your own. 